so today's video is going to be a quick little makeup tutorial. I posted this look on my stories the other day and it was kind of like a quick little get ready with me that I made like two minutes long and I got so many DMs from you guys asking me to go into more detail about the powder and to do this look in a whole YouTube video and do it step by step and even though it was such a simple simple look a lot of you guys really liked it and so I thought I would do a quick little tutorial for you guys. Something you can come back and reference and not have it disappear in 24 hours because that's no longer on my stories anymore. So that is what I'm doing for you guys today. It's a very simple everyday makeup routine but it's so pretty and fresh and I love that it's a foundation-less makeup routine. So this is my no foundation makeup routine. It's my favorite look to do whenever I'm not doing any foundation and whenever I'm doing a little bit more than just mascara and brows because on the days where it's like no makeup makeup I'm going out the door. I literally only put on my SPF, my eyebrows, and my mascara. That's it. Literally those three things. But when I got a little bit more time, I have like 10 minutes, this is what I do. And I have been loving this super simple look, and I hope you do too. By the way, I'm obsessed with this dress. I'm wearing a dress that I bought for New Year's Eve, I believe, and I never got around to wearing it. So I thought I would wear it in my video today. Even though you don't see it at all. This is the most you get from this dress, this intro. <laughs> at least it didn't go to waste. I'm, I'm wearing it. But anyway, let's get into this look. Okay, I already have my brows on. I have on the Melt Perfectionist brow and some brow gel. Now going in with the most crucial step of this whole makeup routine, and that's SPF. You definitely wanna use whatever SPF you have, but for me, I don't know if it's just my brain, but it has to be SPF 50. If it's the only thing I'm slathering on my face, it's gotta be SPF 50, and my favorite right now is the Super Goop Every Single Face Watery Lotion. It's my favorite for every day because it is so watery and light. It feels like my skin is drinking some water. It's such a gloomy day today. I don't know if you can tell. My lighting feels weird, but there is no, oh, there is no sunshine in the sky. But still, you need to put on SPF, okay? I don't care if it's raining. I don't care if you live in Seattle. You better be slathering SPF on your face every single day. You know that that's the anti-aging secret. I always tell you guys, forget about the creams and all of the treatments put on sunscreen. And plus, it just makes your skin look so glowy and healthy, you know? Okay, so the magic in the bright under eye is in these three products right here. This little combo is truly perfection. So I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty Under Eye Prightener, the Prightener, I'm gonna take the Prightener. And this is in the shade Light. It's, it's the under eye brightener. And I freaking love this stuff. I love the little cooling wand feels really nice on my under eyes. And I just love this formula so much. It doesn't really crease that bad, and it just makes the under eyes look so dewy and fresh, but it doesn't feel greasy at all. Just blends right in. Oh, I love this. And I just blend that in with my little Nude Sticks brush. And it instantly, instantly, just like, Ugh, oh, brightens. <laughs> I love the look, I love the finish. Such a good formula, honestly. I just feel so fresh and awake, like I'm Snow White or Cinderella, or I don't know, like a princess. I take a little bit more and I just add that to the bridge of my nose and between my brows just to kind of even out the skin tone a little bit since I'm not wearing any foundation. And I add a little bit more right here. And honestly, I love wearing this product without any foundation underneath because it's just such a, such a beautiful formula. Okay, so I do like to set my face before I apply my under eye powder. So I'm gonna do all the other steps before that. I'm gonna take my Disco Fox eyeshadow palette with Il Maquillage, and I'm just gonna add the shade Later Days all over my lid. I just wanna add a little bit of color to kind of mask the veins on my lids, but I'm not doing an eyeshadow look or anything. Just a wash of color. And then I always add a little bit to my lower lash line, of course. Okay, when I was doing this makeup look on my stories, I tested out the Tower 28 bronzer for the first time. This is their contour for the first time and I really, really liked it. So I'm gonna use it again today. This is the Tower 28 Sculptino Contours. I love that name, the Sculptinos. 
I like that. And this is in the shade Getty. They have their luminous bronzers that are super glowy and like kind of shimmery. These are a little bit cooler and don't have any sheen to them, but they still have like that glowy formula. It's really nice. And I just love how easily it blends into the skin. It's like boom, boom, and done. Love that. My lighting feels so off for some reason. I need to work on that, it's so bad. This is the perfect contour for the summertime because it's a bit of a warmer contour. It's not too cool tone and it has that really pretty sheeny finish. Not sheeny, not like a shimmer, just a glowy finish. Very creamy. I love it. Okay, I've been using the M Cosmetics Chiffon Blush a lot recently, like this past week, and I swear I can't get enough of it. It's so, so pretty. These M Cosmetic blushes are so good. I always apply them with my little e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush. The brush I was using for bronzer is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Duo brush. <gasps> that is so, so precious. Guys, I have a serious question for you, okay? No judgments, judgment-free zone. Do any of you guys get Botox? Um, <laughs> I am so scared of that shit. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I'm petrified to get that. I'm a lot more scared of filler. I got filler on my smile lines when I was 25 and I said, Never again. I have issues. I have issues upstairs. I don't know if a lot of people know this. If you get filler, you do know this, but if you've never gotten filler before, when they inject that shit into your face, like you feel it under the skin. It's like in your face, like this hard texture, like in your skin. It's very bizarre. Uh, filler is so strange. And since I am a little bit strange myself, it's hard for me. It's hard for me to deal with filler. <laughs> I shit you not, when I got it, I spent the majority of my time rubbing my face like this. Just feeling the filler in my face because I was obsessed with touching it. I just like had to feel the filler. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the fact that I could feel it made me obsessed with like touching it. So I had to feel it constantly. And it drove me crazy because it's like, oh, okay. I don't have any smile lines. I just have two red marks on my face all day, every day, constantly. So I never went back to get more filler. And I've been trying to just like embrace my smile lines cause it is what it is and I'm a chicken shit. However, I do wanna get some Botox in my forehead, like barely there. I wanna feel like I didn't do anything. Like I wanna leave and be like, wow, that w I overpaid. What is this? It's like I got nothing done. That's how I wanna feel when I leave. But I want a little bit of Botox cause uh, mama's 31 and things are starting to look a little different. I'm not saying I ever wanna look like, you know, but you know, just a little bit, a little, a little. I don't know. It's like it's frozen or something. Oh, this. I got a Botox injection today. And then you got all your wrinkles are gone. If you guys have done it, let me know your thoughts. Don't scare me though. You know I'm sensitive and paranoid, okay? And I scare easily. So don't scare me. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. You can take any setting spray. I'm just using this one because it's the one I used on my stories. So I'm kind of just using the same things, but I, and I change these products up all the time. I've been using the same routine, but the products do, ch don't look at my armpits, they're hairy. But the products do change. I haven't gone back to do laser on my armpits in a while, and so the hairs are starting to come out again. But I was hairless for a while there, and I've, on and I've only done the treatment like twice. Dragonfly in Miami Lakes. If you live in Miami, go to the Dragonfly. Evelyn has hands of an angel, I swear. I would not let anybody else near my Pikachu. Like, there's no way. There is no way. All right, so I just let that sit for a second. If you have oily skin, you can still do this routine. Just use like a mattifying setting spray. I want to look like this. This is the goal for me. But I know it looks a little bit much, like it's a little too glowy. We're gonna fix that right now. Now is when the magic happens. This is literally my favorite part of my routine. So this is the little combination I was talking about earlier. You can use whatever puff you want and whatever powder you want, but I really, really love this little beauty blender. I don't know the name of this. I don't know. What is this called? I forget, I have to look this up on Sephora. I, re I don't remember when I bought this, but I never used this side. I used it like once to try it and I didn't really like it, but I love it to apply powder on my under eyes. It just like packs it on so nicely. And this powder is amazing because it's so fine, 
so lightweight, not drying whatsoever, which is crazy because like I pack this powder on. I like layer this shit on my under eyes and my under eyes never look dry, which is insane. I don't know if it's the combo. I don't know if it's because the Rare Beauty brightener is just so light as well. It doesn't get cakey. I don't know what it is, but it's a holy trinity and I love them. <laughs> so I have mine in the shade Airy. I also use the shade Breezy all the time, but this is a little bit deeper, so I use this on my entire face. This is the shade I use on my under eyes, Airy. And basically, I just take my little beauty blender puff Stamp it in here, pack that shit on as you can see, and just apply it to my under eyes. I just like to press it in, and you can see that that instantly just like lifts the eye. Can you see the difference? It just lifts the eye and looks so smooth and poreless, so flawless, not cakey, not powdery whatsoever, and I go in a couple times. And my ass has super dry skin, like super dry skin. And this just leaves it flawless. Going in for a third time, okay? Third time. Then I go a little bit around my nose, in between the brows. Okay, obviously I wouldn't do this makeup routine if I was going out at night. Like this is definitely for the daytime because it might be a little bit too bright like in flash photography, but in regular photos during the day, no flash, my under eyes look flawless. I have been obsessed with doing this. So because I've powdered my under eyes, some of the blush on my face does tend to fade whenever I do this. And I have been obsessed with layering like a powder blush on top of a cream blush, like after I apply my under eye powder because it just makes it last so much longer on my skin. Like doing this little routine and adding a blush on top, I will have blush on my face for the entire day until I take off my makeup. And I have been loving this Too Faced blush. I even went on Sephora yesterday and I picked up another shade, but this is the Too Faced um, Cloud Crush blush in the shade Candy Clouds. And I love it. It's such a pretty bubblegum pink. And I take my little brush from Keys Soul Care, the Alicia Keys skincare brand. This came with like their cream blush. I really like this brush. And I apply a little bit of this guy. This blush is really nice because it, it's a very creamy matte finish and it has kind of like a blurring effect. Like when you apply this to your skin, it almost blends your pearl, uh, your pearls, your pores. It has an awesome formula. You should definitely check these out. I know it's a very small blush, but the formula is really good. So I just brush a little bit of that onto the cheeks to kind of mush everything together, the powder, the creams, and then I add a little bit to my nose. And that's it for the face. Then I just curl my lashes. If you are not curling your lashes before applying mascara, you don't know what you're missing. It is a crucial step. Okay, I'm going in with the Rare Beauty Mascara. This stuff is so good. Definitely one of my top five favorite mascaras. Okay, and then I always finish off the look with some sort of like lip plumper, lip gloss, something like that, especially when I'm going out the door. And recently I have been really liking this Lawless one. I got it on Sephora. It's their plumping lip balm. I forget the name, but this is in the shade Pink Marshmallow. It's pretty much just a clear shade, but I really, really have been liking it. It's kind of like a lip plumper and a lip balm in one. I mean, that's, that's exactly what it is, but it's not an intense lip plumper. Like it doesn't tingle. It's not like the Too Faced one. You just feel like a slight plumping effect, like very, very minimal, but I like it. And so I'm just gonna throw on some lip liner. This is uh, Rare Beauty Talented. Whenever I apply like a really thin lip balm, like an everyday lip, color like this. I like to apply lip liner because I like to overdraw my lips a bit, but whenever I throw on like a lip balm, I do like a light finish of the lip liner. So I just like kiss my hand 
<laughs> and just take some of it off so that it's more of a blurred finish, like a blurred matte finish, like a soft touch. Now I'm going in with the pink marshmallow lip balm. This has honestly been my go-to everyday makeup and I really enjoy doing it. I love the fresh under eyes and the really like blushy cheeks. I know blush is huge these days, especially like a baby doll bubblegum pink blush. I feel like we've been seeing pink blush everywhere and I have just been loving it so, so much. And even though it's simple, I feel like it just makes my skin look so youthful and fresh and not too heavy and it's just like perfect for every day. I honestly have been loving this makeup look. Let me know what your go-to everyday makeup is. Like is there a staple? like a mascara, foundation, concealer, something that you literally use every single day. Day? I don't know why I said that like that. Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.